The Made in Britain sale celebrates the very best in the modern British art scene over the past century. An incredibly exciting period with changing attitudes in fashion, gender identity, sexuality, and all of this is reflected in the art of the period. One of the most exciting aspects of this sale is the celebration of the new wave of London cool. Artists, photographers, printmakers, these really are some of the hottest names working in Britain and indeed internationally today. One of the highlights of the sale is Chris Levine's portrait of Her Majesty the Queen in bright, shocking neon pink, studded with Swarovski crystals. This is a monumental depiction of perhaps the most recognised person in modern history. I love this 2008 etching by Ian Davenport. So big, bright, bold, colourful. It really sings, even from the other side of the room. Also featured in the sale, we have the parents of these cool British artists. People like David Hockney, Peter Blake, Bridget Riley, Gillian Ayres. Artists who, in London in the 1950s and 60s, led the way in cool. We have a brilliant selection of works that really highlight British craftsmanship and design. A 1934 Goldfinger chair through to Peter Collingwood's wonderful tapestry weavings. We've also got more contemporary works by the likes of Jennifer Lee, winner of this year's prestigious Lueve Craft Prize. We have the most fantastic selection of studio ceramics, not only works by the likes of Lucy Rhee and Hans Koper, two of the most sought after and well-known names of the period, but perhaps lesser known, but nonetheless brilliant makers, people like James Tower. Tower was perhaps one of the most skilled ceramicists of the past century in terms of his methods of production. Press moulded clay, gouged in, glazed with black and white, scratched through and slightly overfired to create this beautiful runny surface. This has remained in a private collection since the 1980s. It's the first time it's ever appeared at auction and it's incredibly exciting. We've got a great selection of works from the collection of the late Jeremy Hutchinson. His parents were at the heart of the Bloomsbury set. Together, the Hutchinsons amassed a collection of works by artists such as Duncan Grant and Vanessa Bell, leading figures in the early part of the 20th century. Look at these bold, striking brushstrokes, so Cezanne-like, and this thick, dabbed application of paint. It's so alive, so immediate and raw. Made in Britain features examples of British fashion photography from the past century, including works by one of the most famous and recognised names, Norman Parkinson. The sale includes Norman Parkinson's 1973 shot of Apollonia von Ravenstein, one of the most famous models of the era. It's a fantastic image, included in the recent Vogue exhibition at the National Portrait Gallery. The great thing about Made in Britain is its accessibility. There really is something for every collector, regardless of what your budget is. The other brilliant thing is the accessibility of the works, not necessarily in terms of their price level, but in terms of their subject. These are works that it's a joy to behold, to have on the wall. 